Johnny Cash was a great fan of Martin Guitar, Willie Nelson, Crosby, Stills, Nash, Eric Clapton, of course, Ed Sheeran. It's a remarkable roster of artists that love Martin Guitars. The craftsmanship is remarkable. Everybody here loves guitars, loves guitar music, and loves the idea that we're making something that makes life better. The business was founded by my great-great-great-grandfather in 1833. When he decided to get into the guitar building business, he set a very high bar for himself. I feel an obligation to make sure that every one of today's Martin guitars is as good as every Martin guitar that he made, and his son, and his son's son, and on down through the generations. There are hundreds of steps involved in making one Martin guitar. You want to make these parts as precisely as possible, but once you've got those parts and pieces, it's the human hand that does a fantastic job of putting them together. And we're really proud of it. We want you to see how a Martin guitar is made. Here in our Nazareth factory, we have about 500 employees. There's a very specific formula that goes into building one of our guitars. The woods have to be a certain thickness. The braces have to be a certain thickness. Can't have the woods too thick or you're not gonna get the sound you want out of it. We try to build the guitar to a point where it's almost so thin that it might implode on itself. The wood is an integral part of not only the aesthetics, but the sound. Guitar builders, through a trial and error, discovered that exotic tropical hardwoods work really well if you want to make a really good sounding guitar that's beautiful and durable. Right here we have a guitar where the body is made out of sinker mahogany. This wood has been immersed in streams in Belize for could be hundreds of years. People can be skeptical. Are they still handmade? And then you get about halfway through the tour, people kind of go, yeah, they're still handmade, and now I understand why they're so expensive. It's a challenge, it's complicated, and it takes time. If I could choose what to come back as, it would be a Martin OM45. Now, when Eric Clapton says that about one of your instruments, that, that means a lot. What I think is really cool about when a famous musician is playing a Martin guitar is they discovered how cool Martin guitars were on their own. We don't give Martin guitars away. We don't pay people to play Martin guitars. This guitar here is a 1953 D18 that was owned by Kurt Cobain. He liked the guitar, it was old and beat up. He gave it the nickname Grandpa. Uh, used it for a couple of years. I believe he might have used it on Nirvana's first two albums, but then he ended up giving it back to uh, his ex-girlfriend at the time. This is Hank Williams' 1947 D18. People come from all over the world to see this guitar. Recently, uh, a gentleman came from Canada and we let him play it. And as soon as he started playing it, he just started crying because it meant that much to him. We're doing something here pretty special. We're making the best of its kind. A lot of companies try to figure out the way we build. And I mean, anybody can come to our factory and take this tour and see how we do it. But there's a tone you can only get from a Martin guitar. I can't tell you exactly what the secret formula is. Patience, perseverance, trust. It's just something special about the materials we use and the hand craftsmanship that's passed down from generation to generation. It's complicated. And that's why, you know, maybe you really need to have been doing it for 186 years to be able to do it as well as we do. Mm -hmm.